Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of 5 Minute Friday. In this video series, I'm going to share the tips, tools and tactics that will help you get more online traffic and conversions for your business. Now, why did I create this series? Two reasons. One, I wanted to make a more personal connection with you guys, my readers. And number two, I really just wanted to find a way to deliver more valuable content more often. And video was the, the natural choice for me when it came to that. Now, this isn't going to be your typical series of where, you know, I fill you in on the latest uh, industry updates on news, trends, insights, and things like that. Uh, there's already a ton of awesome resources out there that do that. For me, I wanted this to be a personal outlet where I could really share with you uh, the tactics that have allowed me to not only build a successful blog, but also deliver great results for clients and even grow my search marketing agency by 300% over the last uh, six months. So, um, you know, I just really wanted to find an avenue to share all of that with you because I firmly believe that you learn the most from other people's experiences um, and that includes failures as well. So, um, the first, this is the first video in the series, so uh, please leave a comment below the video or even hit reply to the email and let me know what you think. Your feedback really will dictate the direction of, you know, future content, uh, both in this video series as well as on the blog itself. Okay, so with that introduction out of the way, uh, the first thing that, uh, the first episode I guess that we're going to do is uh, how to build an upside down homepage in minutes with Thrive Content Builder. Now, why did I choose this topic? Well, there's really, a ma the main reason for that is, you know, ask yourself, when you go to a website, uh, what is the highest traffic page on that, on that website? Um, in most cases, it's going to be the homepage, and if it isn't number one, it's going to be right up there, I bet. So even though it gets such a huge chunk of traffic, very few people actually optimize it correctly in order to get the most conversions or leads from that page. It's often just a wasted piece of online real estate. And I was no exception to that rule really up until about six months ago. Uh, all I was doing was putting a generic uh, call to action in the sidebar and on a good month it was converting at about one and a half, maybe two percent. And uh, you know, for a site that's getting thousands of visits to its homepage every month, I was leaving hundreds of e uh, of email subscribers or even business leads on the table. So you know, that was a huge waste. Uh, and that was until I came across an article by my friend Brian Harris over at Video Fruit, and uh, he talked about this concept of the upside down homepage. And essentially, in a nutshell, what that is is it flips the conventional homepage design on its head. Instead of having the main navigation at the top with the call to action at the bottom, the call to action is put to the top with social proof and testimonials and things like that and the main navigation is pushed all the way to the bottom. And the whole idea is if you put that call to action front and center right away, you will naturally increase conversions. And um, so, you know, I saw this and was intrigued so I went over and had a look at his website and uh, this is what I saw. Now, as you can see uh, from the article, Brian mentioned, uh, you know, with that design, he was able to increase his conversions by about 35% overnight. Now, I didn't have a, I didn't have a product to, to sell or even uh, try and launch. So uh, what I did is I just scaled down that uh, homepage design, at least in for the time being, until I do have my own product to sell. Uh, and what um, and what that did for me, actually, the results were, were pretty amazing. Uh, month over month, I saw an increase in homepage conversions. Uh, to specifically email subscriptions, uh, went from about uh, one and a half to two percent to a little over 5.4 percent uh, almost immediately. And not only was I able to get more email subscribers, but uh, I was able to drive more people through to uh, one of the landing pages for my agency. And I was able to generate you know dozens of new leads and was able to close out a number of those too. And ended up those ones that I did close have added about fifteen thousand dollars in new monthly recurring revenue to my business, which uh, you know which has made a huge impact both on the blog and the business side. So you know hu huge progress there. Uh, and, and really, I just wanted to show you exactly how you can implement that on your site by showing you how to build it from scratch step-by-step step using this Thrive Content Builder plugin. And don't worry, there's no coding required. Uh, it's super easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it in minutes. But before we dive into uh, the actual video, one thing I want you to know is below this video, I am going to include uh, a link to the tool so you can find out more about it and see if it's a good fit for your site. And I'm also going to link to another video that uh, it's a bit longer, but it will show you uh, step by step also how to build uh, Brian Harris's uh, 
actual landing page or actual home page design um, from scratch as well if you're wanting to you know expand it out a little bit and promote products more directly and things like that so look out for those two links below the video please provide feedback and without further ado let's jump into the first episode of five minute fridays Okay, to, so to recreate a page like this one I have on my website, we're going to come over to Pages, create a new page, and then click Edit with Thrive Content Builder. And what this will do is it'll open a new page. You can see here it looks very different. There's nothing already here. So we'll just come up to Thrive Landing Pages, and you can either import a landing page or choose a landing page template. We'll choose a template. And then Thrive Content Builder provides hundreds of different uh, templates to choose from, easily filtered by different category types. For this example, we're just going to use the author focused homepage and we'll load that page template into the site now. It takes a few seconds, as you can see, but almost right away we've got this nice designed responsive theme template already on the site. So now we're going to make some minor changes just to show you how we get it looking more like this. Alright, so we'll drag out this logo, put it on its own line. Everything's drag and drop here in Thrive Content Builder, no coding needed. Uh, just exit that. We'll change out the logo image for this example. So now uh, you can just search directly within your media library. Uh, select my logo, here it is. It's a little bit big right now, so I am gonna resize this to about 150. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll delete this element, and then we'll change out this heading one text here. Uh, we'll resize this to about 45 pixels to get it all uh, on two lines. Uh, and then the text here, I'm just going to copy pretty much uh, word for word, just for speed's sake here, but obviously this will change a little bit as you go through uh, your example. We'll paste it in there. Perfect. Actually, we'll want to change the color of this since we'll have it on a white background in a little bit. There it is. And again, come over, grab this text as well, copy and paste it. You can see here that using this template, it is just so easy to replicate. Uh, right there, uh, we'll center that text as well, make it black, and then we'll just bold control B on these elements that I highlighted on my page. Great, so we've already got those two elements in place. Now we just want to add this checklist. Thrive Content Builder provides just loads and loads and loads of drag and drop features, uh, but for this example, we need the lists. So we'll get the check marks and we'll drop those in here. And again, we'll just copy and paste a few examples here just for demonstration. Uh, paste as plain text. Uh, we might want to minimize the font size here a little bit. Let's go 14 for now. And then we'll just do one more. We'll paste this in here. Paste as plain text. Great. And then if you want to add more, you just press enter and there they are. Dropped in. Uh, we'll make this black as well actually while we're here. is too easy okay great so the next part is you can see on this page you want to add this button so we'll just drag the existing button up and we can just quickly change the color and then the different style options we've got here we'll put this to you can leave it at five so it has a little shadow or we can go back to one so it's more like what I've got going on there so great now let's uh, grab an image of yourself here to replace uh, this fella um, I remember correctly if I search Robbie I should pop up somewhere in here and there we are okay great so here's the one I have with my white background so I'll just insert it right there now I need to make this a little bit bigger I think it's 345 pixels and then in order to move this image around we're just going to add a little bit of margin um, to the top and bottom of this uh, you can play around with this setting it'll vary a little bit depending on your image size but for me, I think these were the settings that I used to get it pretty close in there. Uh, minus 10. Uh, let's see, maybe it's a minus 20 this time around. Okay, so we, we want to make sure too that we're getting uh, this aligning here on the bottom and giving a little bit of space like we have in this example. So uh, let's just first go ahead and move this one down a little bit. Uh, we'll add some... Uh, add some actually let's make a little bit of space below the button here so we'll click in here uh, let's add some margin to the bottom and all this will do is just create a little white space below the button let's do 30 pixels there obviously we need to move down this image as well so let's just go with 80 and that's pretty close how about 83 
How's that one looking? And you can see that brings it pretty close to the edge right there. Um, and then, you know, we have it. So obviously we want to get rid of this uh, red background as well. So I'm just going to exit out of here quickly, click this red background here, and then we'll slide this uh, down to here, all the way down so it's white. And then boom, here we go. Now it's starting to really take shape. So now we want to get some logos in here for some social proof. Uh, so we have our main above the uh, fold CTA, and now let's add in some social proof. So we'll come in back into Thrive Content Builder. Let's just grab, how many we got in here? We've got five, all right. So we'll grab this five column layout uh, page element here, and we'll just drop that. We'll delete the old one that's in there, and uh, we'll just move this up into the middle. And then now the next step is we'll start dragging in our logo images. And delete that, add logo. Uh, let's just search logo here, so you can see digital marketer logo, just like is the first one here. Um, we'll bring that in center, and then you know we can move these around a little bit. We can drag and drop the column widths to make bigger to fit in. Some of these are going to naturally be larger, but for the speed of uh, execution here, I'm just going to uh, drag and drop these guys into each column here. Um, just cloning them, you just click the little green button here and it'll copy it, and then there we go. So we've got all our logos in here. Again, you can you can drag and drop the logos in and you can move the column widths around because as you can see, there's some that are gonna be a little bit bigger than others, but you get the general idea. Um, and then again too, with this element, you just click it and it'll have padding. If we wanna make this bar a little bit, um, I guess narrower, we can play with those settings too. That'll just reduce the size. We'll get rid of that piece there. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of coming through and changing out the color and text from your testimonials as well as the headshots. And this is super easy. Just click on the image. Um, let's look for my buddy Noah Kagan here real quickly. Here he is. Drop his head in there. There he is. And then again, we can just um, change out this text really really quickly and also the color if we want and here you go and then same same thing in here and then just go down and repeat the process if you want to add in more testimonials just simply um, clone one so if we want to add another one in here below this just copy it drag it and then drop it into the green section and there you go you have another one already added to the page um, so super simple. Uh, for this example on this template, they have some other elements, but I kept mine really simple as you can see. Below I just have my buttons right at the end. So for this example, I'm just going to delete that element as well as this one. And then we've got our two call to action buttons at the bottom. So to replicate that, we'll come into the column layout section, two column layout, and then we will grab a button design that we can just drag and drop in there as well. So if I come back up here quickly, grab a button, and then I'm just gonna, oops, just gonna drag it into this column, delete that, and then there's a bunch of different styles. We'll do a full width, style five, add a little shadow, and there it is there. So um, again, I'll just copy this button, drag it into this column, switch out the color just to make a little contrast. Let's make that one yellow. Um, and then if you wanna, then it's just a matter of coming into link settings, adding the link to where you want it to go, as well as uh, you know if you want it to open in a new tab or whatnot. Um, there's other er features that you can do here, but um, those are the basic ones. And as you can see, that's what I've got going on on my side here. Now at the bottom here as well, you can add in uh, main navigation links as well. But in order to uh, reduce the, the clutter, if you will, I just deleted those. Um, you can add a copyright. Um, notification in there as well just to keep things safe so as you can see that that's really really quick uh, now we've got our page in line and the one thing you'll notice here on my page if you come back to the top if you click the yes I'm in button here it's a two-click opt-in um, I also use Thrive Leads um, I will include links to both Thrive Leads and Thrive Content Builder below this video but um, you can see here that it triggers an opt-in and uh, that's where I can capture emails and how I do that is I just come in, click the button, click Event Manager, and then from it integrates automatically with Thrive Content, uh, Thrive Lead, sorry. And then you just click Edit, 
And what it'll do is it'll allow me to connect with a different Thrive Leads Thrive Box, which is very similar to the lead pages, uh, lead boxes as well. Just select which one. In this case, it's my newsletter. And then that's connected to my email service provider. And then anyone who opts in goes straight into my autoresponder. And then that's really it. That's how I built my homepage on my website uh, that is now converting at almost 10%. Uh, catching hundreds of new email subscribers and driving new leads through to uh, my search marketing agency as well. Uh, and it's helping me generate new business uh, out as well as new email subscribers. So very helpful. Um, if you want to replicate the same exact design that Brian Harris uses on his page, I've also included a link through to a longer video tutorial below this post. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how I built and launched my page and uh, how you can do the same really, really quickly using Thrive Content Builder. Um, this went a little bit over that five minutes, but I feel like you should uh, get a lot of value from it. So until next week's 5-Minute Friday, I will talk to you soon.